fractional response models are another variant of generalized linear model that is related to our binary logistic and probability regression models. Fractional uh, data is uh, data that is between 0 and 1, can include 0, can include 1, or could be between those two values and not including either. For example, share of employees that join a pension plan, the share of time spent, wor spent working and so on. And uh, in this kind of model, we are interested in ex explaining the expected value again, like we are in all generous linear models. One thing that you need to know at this point is that these models assume independence of observations. So for example, if we have uh, five companies that split the market, then uh, we can't explain market shares using this kind of models because the market shares are not independent. The five companies' market shares must sum to 100. Also, you can't uh, model uh, how a person uh, decides to allocate them time between uh, working, sleeping and free time, for example. So we have the independence of observations uh, that we always have. If we don't, then uh, you need other kinds of models. How we model this kind of data that varies between 1 and 0 and uh, can span any values between those two is that uh, we use uh, the s models. Or we can use linear model if we uh, are sure that the predictions go, don't go beyond the range of, of, of 0 and 1. So either linear model or s model, more typically the s model. So the uh, relationship to, uh, to probability and logic models is uh, pretty close. The general modeling approaches for this kind of data are that we either transform the dependent variable. So we use uh, the, the uh, inverse of the S-curve and uh, we, we get values that are between minus infinity to plus infinity. We need to have some workarounds if the data contains zeros and ones because you can't uh, transform zeros and ones, transform zeros and ones using the S curve because the S curve uh, goes from very close to zero to very close to one but doesn't include zero and one. Then we apply least square regression analysis with the Tersky robust standard errors and that uh, does the job and it's not, not that problematic at all as long as uh, the, uh, the, the predictive probabilities or the predictive fractions are not very close to zero, are not very close to one. Another approach is to use the general linear model. So we use either logit or probit or some other S-curve and uh, we have two commonly used distributions. One is the Bernoulli distribution which is the, uh, the logistic and probit regression distribution which is normally for ones and zeros only but turns out that it actually are uh, works pretty well for fractional responses as well. I will go through that in another video. Then another uh, approach that we can apply is, is the beta distribution and the beta regression uh, is more efficient than the, uh, the Bernoulli or normal logistic regression for, for fractional data if the beta distribution actually characterizes the data. Then we apply heteroskedasticity robust standard errors in any case. There are Probably better approach is to use the Bernoulli because uh, it's more robust. Beta R could be inconsistent unless the response actually follows the beta distribution. For that reason, I will not go to the beta distribution in detail. But you can understand, you need to understand that that's fairly commonly used. It's probably better to use Bernoulli. And a published example about this fractional data is uh, this article here. They are uh, looking at how large share of uh, patents uh, a company controls from a patent pool and uh, they uh, explain that they apply normal generalized linear model with a logistic regression analysis and they use the Bernoulli distribution. So it's a normal logistic regression model but it actually just, just uh, applied to fractional data which sounds like something that you, you shouldn't or cannot do but it actually works really well for reasons that I'll explain in another, another video. How these results are interpreted is exactly the same way as normal uh, S-curve models, logistic models. You plot the, uh, the marginal effects and that's how you interpret. Don't look at the coefficients because they are difficult to interpret. 